Wow. Wow. We're in oh my goodness. It is a gorgeous sight to behold. This really puts our planet in perspective with the whole solar system, you know? Oh, it was incredible. <laughs> it was way more than I thought it would be. When it got to the full ring, that was just amazing to see. <laughs> You can almost hear a little bit of an awe and reverence among the crowd. Crazy. That is, um... <laughs> that is so wild. So that moon's shadow is traversing across the ground at a few thousand miles an hour, almost Mach 3. So even though it, it seems like it's lingering, it's actually making really good progress. Favorite part was definitely Ring of Fire, because that's not something, again, you'll see every day, and it's going to be a long time before there's that opportunity again. I'm just in awe, you know? this. I can feel the temperature drop. It feels just incredible. It's truly spectacular. It's one of those natural phenomenon that I just feel so lucky to be here at this place at this time to be able to observe it. Awe-inspiring, so I'm a little embarrassed to admit. Vancouver was one of the places where you could see this on Saturday. I didn't. I, I mean, I don't know if it was because it was cloudy at that moment of the day, because it wasn't cloudy all day. Maybe I was just inside when it happened. Next one will happen in Vancouver in 375 years from now, so there is that.